What's going on guys, Tyler here from Unbox Techie and today we are talking all about something very important actually to this shot and that is the lens on my camera today. So we're gonna talk about, this is the Canon lens EF-S 24 millimeter 1 to 2.8 STM. I literally just read that around the lens ring. <laughs> so this is the 24 millimeter pancake lens from Canon and it is an STM lens. So let's go ahead and compare it. This is the lens actually that I was shooting on before. Let me go ahead and swap over to that. All right guys, so how is this for zoomed in? This is the Canon 50 millimeter. Uh, they call it the Nifty 50. It's a Canon 50 millimeter STM lens that drops all the way down to an f-stop of 1.8. It is a very affordable lens. So I'm like half squatting here so you can actually get me in frame here. Um, it is a very affordable lens. Again, all the links to these different lenses will be found down below in the description. However, this lens is great if you wanna get portraits because look at that background, it's nice and blurred out. And I'm only at 3.5 right here. However, if I drop it down to a 1.8, it's going to be very, very blurry and get some nice looking portrait shots. However, for shooting in tight spaces, this is not ideal. This right here, guys, is the Canon 24mm pancake lens. And the reason they call it a pancake lens is because it is actually very, very thin. This is a cover right here, and this is the lens cap. And so just this little tiny portion right here is the actual lens. And when it's on your camera, it doesn't even look like there's anything there. It looks like there's no lens on your camera. So that's why they call it the pancake lens. It's got autofocus and manual focus, just like you would imagine on a nice Canon STM lens. And the 24 millimeter is great because it allows me to get about half the distance from this lens that I'm currently shooting on and really get a much wider shot. So when I'm in this small space right here, you know, there's not a lot of room from my camera that back to my computer here. So when I use this 24 millimeter, it allows me to get a much broader and wider shot. So how about this wide picture right here? This is the 24 millimeter again, and you can see the difference between the 50 and the 24. It's just, it's big, there's a huge difference. And especially when you're in tight areas, it's nice to have a lower millimeter, meaning a wider angle lens. And that, that allows you to shoot in much tighter spaces and get closer to the camera. All right guys, so let's go ahead and test out the autofocus on this lens. Today we're testing out different autofocuses from up close, really, really close up, and then further off and how quickly it can transition between those. Because when you're making videos, sometimes you're you know at different angles or especially when you're not just talking here in front of the video, you need to be, you know, have a quick transition from something close to something far away. And things can be changing, you know, especially when you're out in the public, the world, then things change very quickly. And we need to see how quickly these, these transitions take. So we're going to run through a few tests. So I hope you enjoy this video. Again, all of the links to these products can be found down below in the description. That is this 24 millimeter lens and also that 50 millimeter lens. Also, if you guys are interested more in that 50 millimeter lens, I will be doing a review in the future about that lens and kind of the pros and cons of that lens. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I do have my lapel mic on, so I can go ahead and talk behind the camera, which would not work well with a shotgun mic. I have here sitting a nice little orange. So we're gonna go ahead and test the focus range from this orange to that chair, which the chair is about 18 feet away roughly. And so we're gonna go ahead and test this focus range. Again, I'm shooting at 30 frames a second, 2.8 f-stop, and I'm just going to go ahead and touch manually on the screen and adjust that focus between the two objects. So here is our first test. I'm gonna go ahead and touch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the orange and touch, and touch, and touch, and touch. So honestly, I can see it's it's very crisp. It's, it's very quick. That's a long focus range to be transitioning to, and it's, it's very quick. It's not, there's no delay. There's maybe just a millisecond delay, but it is very quick. 
and quiet too. You might be able to hear my AC unit running outside, but it is, it is very quiet. Especially if you're using an external mic. If you're using the camera mic, sometimes it can be picked up and that's actually pretty common if you are using a camera. The camera onboard mic, which I highly suggest you don't, I suggest you use an external mic, but it is very quick and easy like that. Also, this is great for a macro. So if we get up very close, you can actually see you can see the background, you can't even see where that chair was anymore, but these macro shots can be incredible. They can be very, very detailed and very close. Again, my lighting isn't perfect here, so if I move this over, we can get up very, very close and see in great detail. Right about there is our... There we go. So yeah, that is the Canon 24 millimeter STM lens by Canon. All right guys, that is it for this video. This was the Canon 24 millimeter STM F-stop 2.8 all the way up to 22. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Let me know between the 24 millimeter that works well for shooting in tighter spaces versus the 50 millimeter, which gives you a little bit more blurry background and is great for portraits. Which one of those do you like more or would you prefer to use when shooting videos? Also, if you are interested in any of the products that I've mentioned today, whether it's that lapel mic, the lenses, the, any of the lights over here, go ahead and check the links down below in the description and you can get your hands on those exact products that I'm using from Amazon. So again, if you have any questions, drop me a comment, drop me a like, and let's go ahead and be sure and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Orange, you glad I didn't say orange. All right, guys, that is it for this video. This was the Canon 24 millimeter. Eh.